Hello guys, this is Angry Rollplayer here and I, I would like to show you my speed version of the Whirlwind Barbarian build. This is optimized for insane fucking speed. You get ma maximum movement speed in this build as well as the clear speed. But we drop some uh, damage buffs, so it's not as good as in a party play as uh, my previous max DPS version of the build. But it's still pretty, pretty decent and really fast uh, for the solo. Clear, I will show you some uh, solo T10 rift, show you how it works. You can also kill leads of course, it's not it's not a problem killing leads. It takes some time though, they're not an instant kill but it's still is still pretty fast so it's not very problematical. Now it's somewhat even pretty really fast, super fast, so you gotta watch out. Watch out what are you doing on screen not to get no moving out of the screen and uh, to see where things drop so it's, it's kind of it's, it's kind of super speedy so you have to watch the shit on screen for some it's a bit uh, excessive speed but I find it really fun and uh, I'm enjoying this a lot you know, there's not always a space for the speed and I like it. There's a crazy fucking shitty mobs here. It's, it's problematic with the with good mobs I will go long down with this map. The fucking glasses. So yeah. Also, jailers are a problem, a little problem here, cause you you're freezing with the jailer, and you just stop moving. <laughs> that's that's really bad. with the speed pile and shit is getting crazy. The speed pile is fucking insane and gets stuck in everywhere. Oh yeah, so this is it. get some <laughs> DBs that I drop here and then I go back and describe the build. It's pretty much identical to the DPS version but it has some tweaks of course. Uh, it's optimized for the movement speed and I'll explain you what's the difference this is with this one. Here. There were 
голосовые. the last one now for the build guys for the build this is a five piece uh, whirlwind waste breath of the waste set as well as the previous DPS version it's pretty much the same it's the the helm the chest uh, the gloves the pants and the boots also, it's two piece Bulkadas uh, set as well, with, it's, it's absolutely identical, you just need max DPS version of your source. We also have Mandal of Channeling uh, for increased damage as well as damage reduction. In the cube we have the Furnace, the Hexen Pants and Skull Grab that increases Whirlwind by 300%. This is the key ring for the build. For the bracers, I'm using or cha was chain arm guards. When we destroy some chests and uh, no, things like that, uh, we have increased movement. That's that's pretty that's pretty good for the build, but not absolutely critical. Cause if you want, you can use Nemesis bracers for more elites. But elites are. Uh, not the the best uh, to kill in this uh, in this build, so that takes a little more time than in the max DPS version of the build. So I prefer just killing more trash, moving faster, and so I use vast chain arm guards here. For the rings, we have the ring of royal grandeur. It goes to have both hex and pants and the manual of channeling in the cube. For the second ring, this is the key ring for this build. It is Rekel's Ring of Rikerini. It gives us increased movement speed for 4 seconds after fearing an enemy. And that's where the craziness of this build you know, comes into play. I'll explain you what skill gives us fear in this, in this build. So for the amulet I use Hellfire Amulet. Uh, with the ruthless passive, if you don't have a hellfire amulet, it's not a problem. Just use some physical amulet that you, that the best one that you have. It's not, it's not a problem absolutely. Um, now for the gems uh, and for the belt, for the belt we have Chilanix chain, of course, like in previous version of the build. It's important for movement speed buff. We are the use with uh, Warcry. For the gems, we have Bane of the Trapped as well uh, for multiplied uh, damage. The second one is exactly the same Teguk for increased armor and damage. Teguk gives 5% increased damage at rank 75 and it's 50% increased damage when you spin. That's pretty good, guys. It is how your damage increases with the stacks. And the third gem is the Breath of Lightning. Uh, this is a good gem, it was also buffed in this patch. And it does around 3000 damage per second to nearby enemies for 3 seconds when you move. And uh, when out of this effect, when you start to zap enemies, you also get 25% increased movement speed. This is another movement speed buff that we get. We just lost the bane of the power here, our extra DPS buff, but we gained some extra increased movement speed here. Well, for for the skills, guys, for the skills, that why why is it why is it different here? On the left button, it's all the same. It's blood funnel whirlwind. On the right button, it's ignore pain bravado as well to give us movement speed. 
on the first baton work right charge also it's the same as in my dps version of the build to give to give us always maximum fury on the second button this is where it gets different instead of um instead of Instead of overpower killing spree, we have threatening shout terrify. So basically, when you are in near the mobs, you press threatening shout and you get movement speed, guys. You get movement speed from the reckless ring of Valkyrie up to up to sixty. Yeah, up to sixty percent movement speed. You get increased movement speed. That's a huge movement speed bab, and you move like fucking crazy. Just need to watch the screen not to spin away uh, to a fucking oblivion. So this is what gives us the huge, huge movement speed bab here, guys. The third button is Sprint Marathon, it's a classic movement speed buff for the Barbarian, one of the best he has. The third is Battle Rage Bloodshed to give more damage, like I said, Battle Rage is a very important skill for every Barbarian. And that Bloodshed gives an extra, an extra aftershock an extra aftershock on uh, the death of the mobs so they can explode each other so this those this is it the passives are absolutely the same it's unforgiving for generating fury and for non-stop fury uh, generation for active use of the skills especially the sprint which costs 20 fury it's, it's one of those costly costly skills Rampage, of course, it's a classic DPS skill. Weapon Master for non-stop pure generation with both of our ancient weapons here. And Berserker Rage, because we all we are almost always on maximum fury, so it's also extremely important for this build. If you don't have the Hellfire Amulet with the Ruthless passive. You can either switch Unforgiving to uh, Ruthless or or to Brawler Passive. It's also will boost your DPS a little. But instead, in, uh, if you don't have if you don't have Ruthless, you can use Ruthless instead of Unforgiving. If you have Ruthless, use Unforgiving or the Brawler here as the fifth passive. What else? We have the diamond in the gem, uh, in the helm, uh, of course, for to give us this extra cooldown reduction here. You know, there is one absolutely fucking insane option here that I also tested. And it is a bit of a crazy option, uh, but it also works. You can use you can use the full six piece set here and switch Ring of Royal Grandeur to the Pandemonium Loop. The Pandemonium Loop is an ex exclusive drop ring. You know what it does? Enemies slain while fear died in a blood explosion for 800 weapon damage and caused other nearby enemies to flee in fear. That's a bit of over crazy ring. You know, in good density it does some crazy shit. I suggest you at least try this one and see if this works for you. So basically if you terrify your mobs and they start fucking running away and the world is spinning everywhere, tornadoes, they die and then they fucking explode two times. They explode with the blood, with the battle rage and they, they also generate explosion from the pandemonium loop. That's fucking crazy guys. It's just, it just non-stop fucking explosions all over the place. It's pretty fucking crazy. Of course, we lose, we lose uh, 25 uh, increased damage here, and we as we, as we don't have uh, the convention of the elements, uh, we we also lose about 50 percent damage. That's a lot of damage loss here. That's why it's slower than the max DPS version of the build, but it's 
it still works solo and it's still fun it's pretty fucking insane and crazy so you just try it and see what works for you better which is fun I prefer this setup with the 5 piece and the Medal of Chan. The Medal of Chan also gives you damage reduction, which is pretty important because you when know, all the barbarian is pretty fragile, the toughness is low. We don't have any, any absolutely, almost no, uh, almost no protection buffs except maybe War Cry. The rest is just, uh, the rest is just fucking DPS. And ignore brain just five seconds, so it's not much protection. With this, just two million DPS. With this, we have around 40 million toughness. So it's not it's not much of protection here. So we should rely on Taeguk also and the mantle of channeling while we spin. You see, I never ran out of mana never run out of mana that's why we need unforgiving even if, when I don't hit anything on uh, the map I don't hit any mobs I still don't degenerate fury and when I actually hit the mobs I absolutely recover maximum fury that's why I need unforgiving here guys I, I think I could explain anything, have fun with the build guys, it, like I said it's maximum speed uh, version of the build, it's pretty fun, it's not really good in the body play, it works but it's just not as fast as solo, but you can try it in party as well and it's absolutely, it's absolutely fun in farming bounties as well. It's really good and it's quite effective. It's not a, not as fast as killing elites as the DPS version of the build, but it's still pretty much capable. Just not that insta kill epic. Just takes a little more time, but it's still really good. So enjoy the build, guys. Thanks for watching and goodbye.